video. I've been wanting to do this video for a really really long time so I'm so happy that I'm finally doing it and it's Christmas so my room looks really really Christmassy. So I really hope you enjoy this video and let's go. So starting off with my door it's pretty plain and it's just white and it's got a few things on the top of it. I have a flag from when I went to Yale University in the summer, a poem which my friend Celine wrote which I thought was hilarious as well as the front of my biology book which I cut out because my friend wrote some really really funny things on it. Miss Rodea was my female biology teacher and so when my friend put I heart her all over my book it kind of got a bit weird. And then let's go into my room. So this is my room. I think I'll start off with the wall backing onto my door and so this is what it looks like. On the back of my door all I have is a blog alertis calendar which I really didn't use as well as two postcards from when I went to Dubai. Above my door I've cut out courage in newspaper and I just think it's the cutest thing ever that I can look up at whenever I'm sad. And then next to it it's this big massive collage, I don't even know what it's of. It's just so colourful and I love it. It goes from photography that I've done to drawings that my friends have done as well as cute little other postcards and pictures of things that I've done throughout the years. As well as a One Direction calendar because you know no girl can be complete without one of those. Next to this cute display on my wall I have the back of my wardrobe which is filled with some guys marry guys get over it posters. I think that is such an important cause that I definitely support. As well as quite a few of my bags which I have just pinned up here so I can easily reach them when I walk out my door. My wardrobe is quite simple filled with railway cards I've used as well as One Direction posters. I have so many more of these that I just haven't put up yet. I just don't have enough space and on top of my wardrobe I just have loads of bags and inside all of these bags I have some more here are other carrier bags with the different brands so inside this one Hollister bag there's probably about 30 or 40 other Hollister bags the same as the Jack Wills ones and actually I have quite a few more Abercrombie ones than I have all the rest I've just bought them and got them throughout the years and never used them. On one side of my window I have a load of receipts and other things like that which are just memories from quite a few years ago. I have receipts from a year and a half ago, I'm such a warder. Inside my wardrobe I just have a load of drawers filled with really random things. Bath and Body Works is my life. And then opening the next cupboard is just filled with some of my clothes, my memory boxes and diaries, as well as my makeup. I used to write diaries when I was about six or seven, so they are all here, as well as a load of random memories, which just, there's a lot of them, so that will be another story for another day. Then I just put all my makeup and beauty products that I use every day inside my wardrobe so it doesn't mess up my room. And then we have my chest of drawers. I keep some necessary products such as deodorant in here just to make sure that my chest of drawers don't look ugly. Then next to this bag I have three fake tea lights and three different jars. The first, which is in the front of this photo, is just a jar that I made myself, which is glittery and it was made out of a jam jar and I just think it's a cute thing ever. I keep things such as bracelets in there and I just think it looks really really nice on my work surface. The second jar I have is a Yankee Candle and this is Christmas Eve by Yankee Candle and it is one of my favourite scents ever for Christmas and it smells amazing. Then I have my third jar which is basically the same as my second jar but there's a star and it's blue and purple glitter all over it. I also have this cute little dog that I got from Forever 21 for free. Next to this little dog, I have a whiteboard which I update every single season. It just has loads of the things that I need to remember for this season, such as my interview at Oxford, as well as trying to be a bit healthier, and just Christmas songs that I like. I also have a mini fake Christmas tree because, you know, it's Christmas and you can't do Christmas without a Christmas tree. This one only cost me £2 from Tesco. It's Christmas. Then I have a chest of drawers with a collection of magazines and notepads, as well as my advent calendar. Then if you follow my Christmas tree lights up, it gets to my main wall. This is my main biggest wall in my bedroom. 
I've basically just covered it in posters from One Direction to 30 Seconds to Mars to Paramore and so much more. I just think it makes my room look really, really unique. Oh, and I also met One Direction. Ship us. And from this wall leads on to my second feature wall. Okay guys, I'm literally so proud of this wall. I love it so much and I've just got a new set of fairy lights and it just makes it look so pretty. First off, I have my bed and my bed sheet is from Jack Wills. So is the pillowcase and the pillows are from India. And then from here we have my wall and it just has a quote if I lay here, would you lie me with me and just forget the world? Which I think is a Snow Patrol lyric. I don't really listen to the song, I just thought it was a cute lyric. This took me about three hours to cut out and it's all from different newspapers. In addition to this, I have various photos and other things like that because I have a photo wallpaper actually on this wall. This wallpaper allows you to put photos in and it looks like you have photo frames on your wall which I just think is the coolest thing ever. I have photos with my friends and just old photos and concert tickets and photography and just so much more. I just think it's such a pretty feature wall. On my bed I normally just keep my MacBook so I can have it easy access for when I get home. Then Next to my feature wall and my bed, I have my bookcase. This just has a massive selection of books and Fruit Loops at the top and teddies. And I used to collect snow globes, so it has lots of snow globes too. Oh, also, I built a Lego house before Ed Sheeran and you know, I'm cool. Next to my bookcase, I have my guitar, which I actually got for free from my grandpa. I just decorated my guitar with a load of random stickers because I thought it looked indie. And my window currently looks like this. Oh, there's a guy outside. I just decorated my windowsill with a really long bit of silver tinsel, as well as hanging up some really cute Christmas decorations for my curtain pole. So this is basically my room. So I really hope you enjoyed watching the tour of my room. If you have a query or a question about any products that I've shown in this video, just give a comment below and I'll be sure to reply. I really, really hope you liked my room because I put a lot of effort into decorating it. Be sure to like up this video as well as subscribe to my channel if you'd like more videos like this. So yeah, I will see you guys before Christmas, but still have a very, very Merry Christmas. I'm so excited and I will see you next time, guys. Bye. I love you. This is so pretty. Little lights in my heart.